This is the National Video Journalist Network. Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we've traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. On a foggy evening at Islip MacArthur Airport, the United States Air Force Thunderbirds arrived to headline the Bethpage Air Show at Jones Beach. And our cameras were there to greet them. So we're excited to be up here at Long Island for this weekend for the 2017 Bethpage Air Show. And uh, we're just really excited to bring our show and our demonstration and represent the Air Force this weekend. This is my second year on the team. Uh, so I have done upwards of probably 80, 85 air shows. Uh, and hundreds upon hundreds of practices. The air show that we do that you'll see on Saturday and Sunday is, is obviously the most iconic and what most people think. Uh, but we get the chance to go do all these public relations events, go talk to high school kids, go to hospitals and put a smile on kids' faces, go to veteran homes and you know talk with those that uh, served before us. And that's definitely my favorite aspect of this job. The six aircraft that you'll see in the Delta formation, we fly as close as three feet from each other, upwards of 500 knots. And so the point of the air show is to, one, we're demonstrating the pride, professionalism, and precision of the entire Air Force. Nearly 660,000 total force airmen, of which over 22,000 are deployed in combat operations today. Our job is to inspire uh, the next generation of airmen. Um, so you can talk to a lot of airmen that are in the Air Force today, and many of them trace back their interest in joining the Air Force to an air show, maybe an air show where the Thunderbirds perform. So that is our number one job. And then we want to retain, so keep those folks that are in the Air Force and remind them, uh, you know, as the symbol of the Air Force, uh, how amazing this, this force is. So the training season itself starts in uh, mid-November. Um, and we fly hundred, well over a hundred sorties before we ever actually demonstrate in front of the public. And it's very much a building block approach. We don't start out flying three feet from each other. We start out much further and we just close that in and we add aircraft during the training season to build up to the sixth ship that you'll see this weekend. The biggest challenge for me when I was starting was learning to fly this aircraft, uh, the Thunderbird F-16. It is very high performance, pulls over nine Gs um, and has 29,000 pounds of thrust. And so it's just like a combat F-16, but we fly it much cleaner, meaning there's no fuel tanks on it, none of the racks for carrying bombs or missiles or those kinds of things. So learning to fly that aircraft with so much performance and then flying as close as we do to other, uh, other aircraft is definitely a challenge. So our team is comprised of 135 individuals. We have 12 officers on the team and 120 enlisted. And each person on the team has their specialty. We represent over 25 specialty codes or jobs that the Air Force has to offer. I was in the Army for nine years before I came to the Air Force. And so it was a natural progression after I became a fighter pilot to want to represent the Air Force as the United States Air Force Thunderbird. It's uh, truly an honor and a very humbling experience. 